Hello and greetings. My name is Desmond Tuambe and I live from Northwest Uganda. So I thought I'll sit outside where the sun is shining on me. I'm married to Nikki, who was a missionary in the, ne in the diocese of Nebi in Uganda, where Peter, your vicar's parents also worked as served as missionaries, helping the farmers of Nebi diocese. While Nikki worked in the education department, helping with the girl child education. We have two beautiful daughters called Pimer and Giramia, age 15 and 13. Me and Nikki met in Uganda and got married there in 2005. And in 2005, we moved into the UK and we are currently living in Hampshire in a small town called Yately. And we worship in the Anglican parish church I am a gardener and Nikki is a teacher. In church, I am a member of the PCC and have just completed a course that is run by the Winchester Diocese called the Bishop's Commission for Mission. I study the worship aspect and our vicar has, been, has given me some responsibility in reaching out into the in in mission to our local community. When I was growing up, me and my siblings and my parents, we went to church. Uh, that was a part of the Anglican communion. And it was the culture at that time. Both my parents were teachers my mom taught the infants and my dad was a secondary head teacher and that meant he was posted to different parts of the country secondary school heading secondary schools by the ministry of education and we all moved with him in 1992 the saddest moment in our lives he died and that was a turning point in our family. My mother had to look after five children with a very small salary to pay the school fees of, of us, of the five children. But God was so faithful enough that my mom first became a Christian, me and my brother we were taken into an orphanage and I'm called Ambassadors of Hope, and that is the Afri that takes the, a part of the African Children's Choir that tour the UK and other places uh, in Europe. And so they paid our fees up to the higher level. After my education, I was employed by Nebi Diocese as a bookkeeper in the planning and development sector. And the next door, guess what? It was Nikki, the education department. So whatever, what, uh, guess what happened? I became a Christian in 1997 when I was in the orphanage. That's when my walk with Jesus became more of fun. While in Nebi, in Goli, we worshiped in the cathedral, which is part of Church of Uganda. I led the services, occasionally preached and led sung worship, and also sung with the choir. I attended the youth conferences in the school, hol school holidays organized by Scripture Union. The worship in the Church of Uganda is both liturgic, liturg liturg liturgical and informal. There are two services in, in the morning, you have to be a very good early riser that starts at 7.30 and English and English and the Alur services that's Alur service that starts at 10 a.m. The English service uses a book called the Common and Worship Come and Worship 
book which is very similar to the alternative service book used in the Church of England in the 1980s. The Lord's Service uses the translated version of the Book of Common Prayer. Before each, before each services begins, there is a time of worship in a Lord and local songs. And during the services, groups of people may sing a song that, that they have rehearsed at home with a group of friends or family members. Services were just, are just over two hours long and the sermons may take about 45 minutes to one hour depending on who is talking and most of the notices will take about 30 minutes or so because we don't have they don't have printed uh, printed notices or emails when I came to the UK st. Peter's Church had three services two in the main church building and one in the school local school nearby us the service at the school was in more informal services and I felt more comfortable uh, going to it and most services in the UK I found were one hour short in a way it, it was like having a snack and most of the services are not quite spontaneous like back home in Uganda. The teaching in the UK is well polished and well researched and biblical based exposition and focusing more on discipleship. While in Uganda, I found that they, they, they are more, the services, the preaching is more uh, evangelistic approach. And there is quite an eagerness of spiritual, um, wanting the spiritual gifts. There is that hunger and the churches are just jam-packed. Meanwhile in Uganda and in the UK I found the, the churches are more, um, people are more indiv individualistic. They, they, they don't look to the extended families, they are more family unit oriented people or um, they look after their own family and meanwhile in Uganda they, the services uh, they, they, the church is actually a community based where you find if somebody dies the grief strikes the whole community and if you holding a wedding it's everybody it's the whole community who comes to hold hands and help make sure the couple gets married. We have a saying that it takes a whole village to raise a child and that is kind of the spirit in Africa. The weddings here in the UK is only by invitation and there are lots of things that I find I find God working in both in both Anglican and the Anglican in Uganda and here and I just want to thank God for the early missionaries who the likes of Bishop Huntington and uh, Dr. Devin Livingstone who brought the gospel to Uganda and in the course Bishop Huntington was killed on the orders of the Kabaka Mutesa of Uganda at that time and we, the church of people from Uganda, we are so indebted to the early sacrifice made by people like Dr. Uh, Bishop Huntington and Dr. David Livingstone, leaving all their comfort zone to come to serve in the most, most remote uh, part of Africa. One thing I love about the Anglican church is that we worship one God, Jesus across the universe, and we preach the gospel. We say the Apostle Creed, that is so universal, that is the basis of our faith. We share as a common thing about singing hymns that you can go anywhere 
in, in, in the world, in an Anglican church, and you feel welcome. The Anglican marches, it has all those wonderful features. It has, it has weathered, weathered the storm. Many people have moved out of it, but it still remains. Many churches have mushroomed around it and died, but it still remains. But one thing, it's never, it's not perfect. But God, in his grace and mercy, still uses that imperfect church. And so my encouragement to men, all of us, is not to close doors, but to continue reaching out not into only our communities, to reach out to many parts of the world, to continue of taking the gospel as your forefathers took the gospel to Uganda and the rest of the world. Now I'm going to pray in Alor, and I pray that God's Spirit will still speak to you in spite of the language I'm speaking, I'll be praying in. Roth Mungo Malang, why in your four EP word in my pinning to my teen? The Sakone, why in your four EP word in my yes of Christo me oro ugino tho, piwa iu yen matara. O four EP Anglican Church, ma iketo ma utiero lemba nyonga peri ika ing i ingomzo. Masakone wainyo foi pi jamiru peri mapita mutpitich mi keti kore i kanisa ene. Wakwa tipu peri orome mani imire rieko man ju kristo pare cheke mani goi mukisa yu teach miki. Wainyo yungi wadodi wekwa wakwe kumeni kunye njalarma ma yesu kristo. Amen. May God bless you all.